All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. I'm about five nights away from my Golden State Star Party uh, first night of imaging. Hopefully the weather holds well. And in this video, I'm going to show you about a change I'm making to my uh, setup. If you saw my Blue Canyon uh, video where I ran the whole night using the Jackery Explorer uh, 1000, you would have also seen where I showed that I was using a TP-Link uh, wireless uh, access router as part of my configuration to create a private network so then I could use my HP laptop uh, to connect uh, to my B-Link U59 uh, mini computer and that worked very well but what I was not able to do, there was uh, wireless connectivity available in the environment and I didn't have a way to bring it down, uh, attach it to this TP-Link where I could bring it then down to the uh, U59. So I made a decision to purchase a, a new uh, router. Uh, this is the uh, Burl from, um, let's see here. Uh, if, from uh, GL-INET. Uh, one of the imagers at uh, GMARS uh, had one of their products. It, he had uh, the slate. Uh, so I was looking at that and then I became aware that the, uh, the Burl was a newer model. And some of the uh, reviews said that the newer model did not get as hot as the slate. And um, the review said while the slate was um, got warm you could hold it in your hand but you wouldn't want to hold it there for very long so this one here has been running now for close to two hours and it's uh, very cool and it's quite warm in the house right now so this is working out well and I don't know if this how well this will show in this uh, view here but we have a WAN port and uh, two LAN ports and then this um, USB port, I'm using it to charge my uh, Verizon uh, jetpack. And um, while the um, Burl came with a uh, power adapter, an AC power adapter, I'm actually able to use um, a USB C to uh, USB-C um, USB connection to power the uh, Burl off of my uh, Jackery Explorer um, 1000 using the uh, 5 volt 2.4 amp port and it's been very stable and, and running very well. Um, I also did a test. Uh, I set up a ping to the Burl and then I went out in my backyard to see how far I could go before I would uh, drop packets. And I was able to get as far as my van would normally be down at uh, GMARS when I was imaging. I, I kind of park across the road. And uh, so I think I'll still have a good connectivity there. And then when I'm up in Blue Canyon, my gear will be right in front of my van. So that's good. And when I'm going up to the star party, it'll be right up in front of the van as well. So, you know, what I really like to be able to do, and which I think this Burl is going to enable me to accomplish, is when there is Wi-Fi, when there is service in the area, either through Verizon or through AT&T, uh, this will give me an opportunity to connect to it and to bring that connectivity down to the uh, um, B-Link U59. So if I need a driver or I want to load some new software, or I want to check out some documentation or something like that, I'll, I'll have that connectivity if uh, everything goes well. So let's come over here to the interface. I, I have it up right now, and hopefully this demo is going to be um, work well. So uh, as you can see, I have two WAN clients connected. So Astro is my B-Link U59, and then uh, uh, my desktop that I'm using here. Um, standard, you know, interface for setting up your SSID, Wi-Fi key and everything. So, you know, if you've done this before, it'll be very familiar to you. 
But the uh, part I find interesting is the uh, internet uh, area. And now it says you could use a 3G, 4G modem. You could tether, use it as a repeater. Um, so what I am going to do is I have two networks. I have my uh, AT&T network via the hotspot on my phone. And then I have the uh, Verizon network uh, via the uh, Jetpack. So let's see if we can't uh, connect to one of those. And the way you do that is uh, there's a scan um, link here. All right, so now it's, uh, you know, scanning for wi available Wi-Fi networks. And... Uh, We'll connect to Burp2, that's my AT&T hotspot. And now if I put in the correct uh, password, we should have success. Now what we're looking for is a little green box up here that says success. Okay, there it is, success. And uh, now we see here that we're connected uh, to internet connectivity. Uh, you know, we get our IP and gateway and everything. But now what I want to do is um, I want to be on my B-Link. So uh, that's my B-Link. So uh, let me just run the... Um, Okay, I'm not sure why I'm not able to execute that command, but let's come up here. Um, all right, I'm connected to Astro Vagabond Field. What is my issue? Okay, so I, I've got internet connectivity, but I've noticed from time to time when I try and execute a command uh, in the command window, I, uh, I have an issue. Okay, but what you see here is uh, the 192.168.8 network. That is the um, Burl network, the private network, uh, yet I'm able to... Um, you know, um, I'm able to have connectivity because I've, I've uh, attached the WAN side of the Burl to, uh, to the AT&T service. And so now I want to, okay, so AT&T is not in the area. Uh, so now I want to come in here and disconnect. And it will rescan. And then we'll, uh, we'll try the uh, Verizon network. And I, okay, we have success here. And so now we have an IP from the, uh, from the Verizon range. Um, still have connection, should have connection to uh, my U59. And let's just go uh, forums. Yeah, so uh, let's see. Yeah, so we got... Uh, so we got... Uh, connectivity now from uh, the B-Link, uh, and that's what I was uh, looking to accomplish. So, um, you know, part of what I'm trying to accomplish is make incremental improvements and um, just adding a, an additional convenience where if there is service in the area, I could connect to it and bring it down to the B-Link. 
Um, the burl, you know, I'll, uh, I'll use it. I'll see how reliable it is. How does it perform? Uh, $75 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the uh, description if you want to check it out. Um, and um, I think while, you know, it may just be a nice to have, but, you know, I think it'll be nice to have when there's service in the area. So, all right. Well, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And um, if you have methods on how you uh, when you're out in the field, you establish your uh, internet connectivity, uh, please share it in the comments. I'm sure there's multiple ways to accomplish uh, getting the uh, internet access you might need when you're out in a field location. Uh, so I'd like to hear uh, what that might be. So, all right. I think that's about it. Um, probably the next time you'll see me is uh, from up in uh, the Aiden Beaver area, North, uh, Northern California, under Border One Skies. And, uh, you know, I'm excited and a great opportunity to meet people. Uh, I kind of shied away from clubs and events like that, but uh, uh, the more I participate, the more value I'm, uh, I'm getting out of it. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited. Hopefully the weather holds. Other than that, clear skies. Till next time.